His name is Sergeant Harry Griswold. He's an undercover cop who takes his job seriously. I need to commandeer this vehicle. And he's always careful. Crime is at an all-time high. And to make matters worse, an ancient prophecy has unleashed an unbelievable evil spirit. And Griswold is caught in the middle of the crossfire. Strange things begin happening all around him. And even stranger things begin happening to him. A regrettable twist of fate has chosen you as a recipient of amazing supermortal powers. He is crazy. He is confused. And he is turning Japanese. I can't believe this. I'm eating a smelly dead fish, and I'm loving it. But raw fish is chopped liver compared to the wild adventure that is about to take over Griswold's life. He becomes Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD. Able to leap tall muggers with a running start. <laughs> If we do not begin to try and master your powers, there will be no champion to oppose the evil one. Only a beautiful, tender woman, Lotus, can carefully teach Harry the subtle nuances of the Kabuki way. She becomes his gentle, sensitive sensei. She trains him in the proper use of Kabuki Man's amazing arsenal of high-tech super weapons. Heat-seeking chopsticks. Computerized 16-byte sushi. Futuristic flying footwear. Bulletproof Gale Force fans. And pyro projecto parasols. He is a one-man army of awesome oriental artifacts. He is... Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD. This guy in the bathroom is a real hero. Real New York hero, huh? Yeah. yeah. And of course, he's a real New York lover, too. Meanwhile, crime is still running rampant. No! And time is running out. My time. The evil one is worse than any criminal Griswold has ever faced. And uglier, too. And when they get their hands on Lotus, Sergeant Kabuki Man is ready for the ultimate battle. Be done with Lotus. No more monkeying around. He is a cop. And he is a legendary superhero. He is America's first accidental oriental crime-fighting hero. His name is Harry Griswold, but you can call him Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD. Who are you? I'm Kabuki Man.